Now to the other big break in a case I don't think anybody was expecting this. There's a major development to tell you about in the murder of Rachel Morin. Deputies are pointing out a suspect who's wanted another crime five months ago, thousands of miles away. We have team coverage tonight starting with WMAR 2 News Jack Watson live for us in Bel Air. Jack, you were at the press conference. It was a shocker. Yeah, Jamie, certainly a turn, certainly unexpected out of the Harford County Sheriff's Office tonight. We're learning that a suspect wanted in a home invasion and assault out in Los Angeles, which according to LAPD took place on March 26th, is now wanted in the murder of Rachel Morin. Take a look at this video. This is a man leaving a home in Los Angeles. Authorities believe he's the one who killed a mother in Harford County. We, have, we know nothing more about him other than he was in L.A. and committed that crime in March. And he was here in August and uh, is the murderer. We believe to be the murderer of Rachel Morin. 12 days after her disappearance, a suspect in the case of Rachel Morin. This man, a suspect whom they say invaded a home and assaulted a young girl. This is him leaving that home in March. Colonel William Davis with the sheriff's office here says they don't know his name, but they know he's 5'9", 160 pounds, and of Hispanic descent. They identified him through DNA evidence. That we believe the suspect acted alone and he doesn't represent the entire Hispanic community of Harford County, who we are now partnering with to identify this suspect. Rachel Morin was reported missing on the evening of Saturday, August 5th. Her body was found at the Ma and Pa Trail that Sunday. Morin was a 37-year-old mother of five children. Since the public found out about her death, her case has gained national attention. Davis says investigators have received more than 300 community tips. I asked him whether there's any relationship between the suspect and Rachel, and here's what he told me. Well, again, we just got this information last night. Not that we have been able to determine yet that we, we don't know of any relationship or that they were known to each other before this incident. So I can't really say, but right now, no. Authorities here in Harford County are still urging caution when walking their trails and to report anything suspicious you see. With a suspect identified, they are asking anyone with anything they know to come forward. Our community will not be defined by this tragedy. Well, Jamie, I want to bring in Janae right now, and Janae and I have been covering this all day. Janae, what's striking to me is that we've had all this speculation for the last 12 days since Rachel's disappearance, uh, who knew what, who was where and when. Now we finally have some semblance of a detail on what might have happened. What are folks telling you? Well, Jack, I've been talking with people all day and they're still very much afraid and rightfully so. Now, although authorities have a suspect in mind, there's still so many questions that are unanswered. In the meantime, the Bel Air community is coming together in Rachel's honor and they will continue to do so until all of these questions have been answered. Just one of those things where it kind of makes everyone realize sometimes it's not so safe out. You just got to be careful and it's just really, it was really sad. Nearly two weeks after Rachel's body was found at the Mont Pa Trail, people in Bel Air are still on edge about the whole situation. Despite not having answers, they are pushing forward and focusing on helping Rachel's family. One local bakery is even fundraising to ensure Rachel's family has what they need during this difficult time. It was our responsibility to do something, especially because we know everybody in the area really likes our store. We figured we could give some money to the family, um, so the proceeds are going directly towards funeral effort and her children. On Saturday, the Flavor Cupcakery will be donating 20% of all proceeds directly to the GoFundMe for Rachel's family. And they say the whole community is still showing support. It's never nice to have sad situations happen, of course, but it's always nice to see that a community can come together when uh, times are bad and we're all just always there for each other. To make sure that the women of Bel Air are safe, you know, keep an eye out for don't walk to your car alone sort of deal. They say Rachel's death has a huge impact and many women still fear for their safety knowing the killer is not caught. It affected me because my, uh, I heard about it from my wife the day that it happened and it's one of those things where uh, she wasn't even feeling comfortable going to the gym that day. It's been very uh, uniting. Um, there's nothing like this has happened here that I can recall in recent years. So it's been a shock and everybody has really come together to make a difference, especially for her kids. Although the Harford County Sheriff's Office has DNA evidence leading them to a suspect, people still feel there are too many unanswered questions. Do we know roughly like what happened? Like, um, where was she going with, you know, just some kind of answers because right now it's just all we know is 
there was a murder that happened right down the street from us. And police need your help even more now. And if anyone has any idea who that suspect may be that Jack mentioned and described earlier, please contact the Harford County Sheriff's Office. You can call them. That number is 410-836-7788. Or you can leave a tip at rmtips at harfordsheriff.org. In Harford County, Janae Wright, WMAL 2 News. Janae, Jack Watson, thanks for your coverage here tonight. We should stress again. Rachel leaves behind five children. Rachel's murder does have Harford County rethinking security on the Mawpaw Trail. County Executive Bob Castle says his team wants cameras installed on the trail as soon as possible. It's still in the early stages, though. He says there's no timetable for when they'll get installed or how much it's going to cost. And again, here's another reminder. Rachel's family will be holding a walk in her memory Saturday at the Mompa Trail. This will start at the William Street entrance at 11 o'clock, and that is Saturday morning. And we know there's a lot of information on the murder of Rachel Morin, so we're putting it all in one place. You can watch the video of the suspect yourself on our website at WMAR2news.com. And we've also compiled all of our stories on the case in our In Focus section. It's easy to find. It's right there at the top of our homepage.